What's up, Savage? Gang, y'all look good today. I see you got a new haircut, got a new fit. You did something clean, but hey, today I'm gonna teach you how to make a keto pizza. But this pizza is gonna be made out of chicken crust. Believe that. Bro, it's gonna be straight fire. The whole thing is made out of chicken. I'm gonna teach you how to make it just like pizza where it's not gonna fall apart and it's gonna stick together and it's gonna hold its own weight. So, y'all ready for that, for this delicious keto pizza meat lovers? Then make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all comment, like below to help your boy get into the YouTube algorithm. And other than that, let's get started. Yeah. First, we're gonna start off by preheating our oven. I preheated my oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and make sure you set it to that temperature. And we're gonna do this first cause I tend to forget it. But next, we're gonna work on our crust. You can go to the store and buy ground chicken, but I like to grind up my own meat, so I'm gonna grind up some chicken thighs. You can do whatever you want though, but do not use turkey. Trust me, bro. I used turkey once and I literally threw up. I don't know if it was a turkey or, or what, but when I made it with turkey, I, I couldn't handle it. I was done. I grounded up my meat to a pound because when you go to the store, it's typically a pound when you buy the packages. So that's what you're gonna need. After you have grounded up all your meat or went to the store and bought it cause you didn't wanna grind it up, but hey, I'm not gonna judge you. We are gonna add one cracked egg into our bowl and add one cup of mozzarella cheese and one third cup of some Parmesan cheese. Now we're gonna flavor our crust. This is optional, but we're gonna add one tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of onion powder, then one tablespoon of garlic pepper seasoning. Next, I added two tablespoons of some grated Parmesan. This is gonna act as our flour. It's gonna make it thick, so I advise you to use it. If you don't wanna use this, you can use almond flour or you can use coconut flour. Now, add a drizzle of some olive oil to it and then I added some hot sauce. This is gonna give it some color and some flavor. So after you add your hot sauce, you can mix all this up, this pizza crust. So mix it up till it looks something like this. After you mix it up, make sure you get a pan. So I got me a pizza pan and then after you get that, we're gonna get some parchment paper and some olive oil and drizzle it on top. So after you do that, we're gonna add our pizza on top of the olive oil and the parchment paper, and we're gonna roll it out into any shape we want. I try to make it like a pizza. So that's what I did. You can have a square circle, whatever you want. After you do that, we're gonna put it in our oven 10 to 12 minutes or until the cheese on top starts to brown. So while the crust was baking, I decided to get my toppings ready. So I cut up some basil, some mushrooms, and bacon. But do not forget the pepperonis. After that, I made me a pizza sauce. You can get the pre-made sauce, but most of the times it has sugar in it and you're on keto, so you, you better not be eating sugar or I'm gonna spank you. So I made my own pizza sauce, starting off with five cloves of garlic and mincing that up. Then I took a stem of basil, cut that up. And after that, get your tomato. Make sure they are San Marzano tomatoes. So when you get that, pour it into your mason jar and make a mess just like me. After you do that, we're gonna add our herbs. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil and we're gonna blend it up just like this. We're gonna add one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning and our garlic pepper, also one tablespoon. After we do that, we're gonna add a pinch of salt and blend it up some more and there you go. That is how you make your tomato sauce. Now, after you've done all that, your pizza crust should be ready. So check in the oven, see if it's bubbling like this and pull it out. We're gonna take all of our toppings and stuff and we're gonna start going ballistic, going crazy. Go crazy! Ah! Add all your toppings, add your cheese and everything. After that, we are going to put it back into the oven and we're gonna cook it for six minutes or until our cheese starts to melt. Now, here we go, take it out of that oven and let it sit because it just came out of that hot sauna. So we gotta let it sit for at least five minutes. But after that five minutes, we're gonna transfer it to a cutting board. You can transfer it anywhere and just start cutting it. Cut straight away. Now look at them angles, bro. I killed these angles, I ain't gonna cap. Bro, this pizza looks so delicious. And look at how I pick it up. The best part of this is it looks just like pizza. You see the way I'm holding it, it's not even breaking because that is how we do it. This is how we do it on That Savage Kitchen. We might not be having bread, but we gonna get close as possible we can to it. Because whoever says a low carb pizza cannot be as good as a normal pizza has obviously never had a pizza like this. 